Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have understood how you use a pending intent and what are all the different APIs that you typically use to implement a notification. And the sample demo that we will be creating in this particular video is you have an activity and on click of this particular button, you basically trigger a notification and then on click of that particular notification, you are going to navigate to an activity. So basically you have two activities, no prizes for guessing. This is the layout of the first activity activity with a button and on click of which we will be triggering a notification we have a another layout file which is activity notification details which has nothing but a simple information saying that this is a notification details activity it is to this particular activity that we will be navigating so let's go back to the main activity as i had told earlier the first thing that you do register the channel id for the notifications so right now what i am going to do is in the on create method of the activity i will be invoking create notification channel which is nothing but the registration of the application for listening to a particular notification channel right now the method inside is empty implementation so this is where we will be implementing the code and this notification channel concept mainly works above the version oreo so you need to check what is the build of the device in that case i will have to basically register the notification channel so let me create an instance of notification channel so i have already defined some standard name and ids so i have defined them in the string so r dot string dot news channel id then get string r dot string channel news and then third argument notification default it is nothing but a integer value now after this we have to get started with initializing some of the other aspects about this particular notification channel so i can get started with notification channel dot set description i have already defined a description so r dot string dot channel description in case if you are working with oreo and above you want to enable or disable the badges so you can set that part so set show badges so it is true and then i need to register this particular notification channel with the notification framework for that i need a notification manager so i can get hold of notification manager is equal to get system service notification manager dot class and then i will use notification manager dot create notification channel and pass notification channel instance that we had initialized just before and with this we are done with the implementation of registering for a particular notification channel and after this the next part is when i actually trigger the notification that part should happen on click of this particular button and inside the on click callback method i am invoking trigger notification method right now it is empty so let's get started as i had told earlier we need a pending intent so let me create pending intent but before you create a pending intent you need an instance of an intent let me create an intent and there is nothing special about creating an intent it is this then notification is activity activity to which i need to navigate and then intent dot set flags in this place you are basically setting which way the stack of the new activity should be managed so it will be a completely a new task and any activity that might be there will be removed and then i will create a pending intent i will write pending intent dot get activity and the context is this request code right now we will give zero pass the intent we just created and then you have some flags that can be sent right now we will once again give zero so we are done with the creation of the pending intent but we have not yet constructed notification itself so for that we will use something called as notification compact dot builder class the first argument is the context and the second argument is the channel ids and then you have to set a lot of different values that you want to display in the notification we will just continue from here so dot set small icon i already have a r dot drawable dot ic dot notification that is a small icon and after that i have large icon as i had told in earlier video this is not always mandatory it takes a bitmap so getting the bitmap from the drawable is a little bit tricky but we will do it bitmap factory dot decode from 
resource get resources that is the first argument and then the second argument is the id r dot drawable dot icon dot large and after that we need to set content title and after that i can give some text and then if at all you want to use a big text style which is basically when you drag the notification down if you want to show a little bit more text information you can do that so set style new notification compact dot big text style you can just use the dot big text method and pass extra text that you want to display here you will just pass the same text as of now and then you have to set the priority and right now we will use the default priority so it is once again integer constant priority underscore default defined under notification compact and then you can set the intent well for that you have this method called as set content intent and pass the pending intent that we had created earlier and after that we have to set the channel id we have already passed the channel id here but in case you want to set it again you can do it here and then on click of icon on the notification area you basically want to clear the notification from the notification area that is set through set auto cancel and in this case it is true so we have constructed how the whole notification should look like but we have not yet triggered it for that we will once again need a notification manager but to make it a little bit more compatible with various versions we will use notification manager compact from the current context and then notification manager compact dot you invoke notify you need to give a notification id which will be used for referencing the notification i have defined a integer constant in integer xml file so get resources dot get integer r dot integer dot notification id that is the first argument and then you have to pass the notification the notification instance can be created from the notification builder instance that we had earlier dot build that will give us the notification and this particular method will basically trigger the notification let me run it this is the activity on click of this button i got the notification this is a small icon this is the large icon and on click of this i am navigating to the notification details activity and if i open it again and click on this and do a long click it will show me settings and as of now you are not seeing any notification channel a channel that we had given as news the reason is this is a emulator which is not audio so this is a different emulator which is running android oreo so let me run the same application here and when i trigger the notification you can see that the notification is available here and when i long press the notification channel that we had registered with you can see that here and you go to that particular applications icon you can see a small dot this is called as badge you are able to see this because here we had set the show badge value to true and if you do a long press here you can actually see the same notification this you will see only in oreo but not any previous version and if i click on that you can see that the notification got cleared because we had set auto cancel value to true and we basically navigated to a new activity let us trigger the notification again go to the settings and disable this so basically what i am saying is i don't want to receive any notifications on the news related information so if i trigger a notification now which is related to news i should not get any notification so let me click on this as you can see here i am not getting any notifications just because i have disabled the channel id for news if i go back there how do i go back there once again you have to go to the notification settings so you have to go to settings apps and notifications notification demo app notifications and enable it again and now if i trigger you will once again start receiving the notifications so this is a feature that you will see only in oreo and later versions so you should utilize these options when you design your notifications there are still quite a number of things that we need to discuss about how various other aspects of notifications are configured we will explore those in the upcoming videos that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye